economicus. The meaning of homo economicus in the literature simply means that he or she can only be seen as a person who cares about maximizing things like profit and can make decisions that will allow them to pursue that goal in the most favorable way. It is a model of human behavior based on the question of what determines human behavior in classical economics. Since the first day this model was put forward, it has been subjected to great criticism by both economists and psychologists. Homo economicus cares about utility maximization if he is a consumer and profit maximization if he is a producer. Everything else is unimportant to Homo economicus except self-interest. To give an example from daily life, we can liken Homo economicus to a supercomputer that has complete information about products while shopping at the supermarket, can store and process unlimited information, and knows exactly which product to buy and when. Homo economicus, which has been discussed by both economists and psychologists at different times, has certain characteristics. These are briefly, perfect rationalism, unlimited cognitive capacity, perfect information, narrow self-interest, focus on maximizing utility and profit, preference consistency. Now let's go back a bit and examine the history of this term. The creator of the Homo economicus model is John Stuart Mill, one of the important representatives of classical economics. Mill defined man as a being who only desires to have wealth and can judge the comparative effectiveness of the means to achieve this end. However, as can be seen, although Mill modeled Homo economicus, the term was actually coined to criticize this view of Mill. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the earliest written use of the term is found in Charles Stanton Devis' 1883 book The Groundwork of Economics, where it is stated that Mill studied only Homo economicus, a dollar-hunting animal. An equivalent meaning has recently been used to criticize this model of Mill. Here too, it was said that Mill's model could not be real, and that Mill was dealing with imaginary economic people. Since then, the concept of homo economicus has been widely used in various economic models. It has also been heavily criticized for various reasons. Because the homo economicus model constructs the human being free from morality, ethics, and other social influences. Stop for a moment and think. Do you always get the maximum benefit from the decisions you make? Or have you ever wished, regretted the weight you gained? delayed your homework or lost money in the stock market. If it did, it's okay, you are homo sapiens like all of us. If not, please share with us the stocks and cryptocurrencies you follow. But we think your answer is yes. Since the early days of the theory, many people have thought the same way, and many criticisms of the homo economic as human model have emerged. Nudge, Improving Health, Wealth, and Happiness by Richard Thaler and Cass Sunstein is a good example of these criticisms. In the work, the authors write. If you look at economics books, you'll see that Homo economicus thinks like Albert Einstein, has a memory as big as IBM's Big Blue, and the will of Mumta Gandhi. But the people we know are not like that at all. Real people can't do long divisions without a calculator, Sometimes they forget their spouse's birthday and get a headache over New Year's. They are Homo sapiens, not Homo economicus. Criticisms of the Homo economicus model have led to the emergence of other models that aim to analyze human behavior over time. Some of these models are Homo heuristicus, Homo reciprocans, Homo sociologicus, Homo politicus and homo duplex. This is the end. See you in the next videos. Subscribe, like the video and comment below if you want.